Nancy Boyda was also at the dinner, and it may be her first year in Washington, but the representative certainly hopes to make her mark. 49 News reporter Laura Berger spoke with Boyda about what she plans to accomplish and one situation she admittedly says she could have handled better. Well, it's a little different. I was expecting as a freshman to do the, you know, be seen but not heard, and it's been just the opposite. Thank you, and I yield back the balance of my time. Mr. Representative Nancy Speaker, Boyda is not your typical time. freshman. She's already sponsoring the Pension Forfeiture Act and learning her way around Congress. This time it's different for freshmen. They have just thrown us into the deep end. Everything with the Iraq hearings and the Armed Services Committee, that was huge, um, and I actually got to ask questions, which is, again, for a freshman, uh, unusual. In the past month, Boyda has also found herself in hot water. After appearing on ABC News, she told Charlie Gibson she would vote to increase troops in Iraq. She was criticized for being a rubber stamper and not supporting her constituents' views. I did not handle it. I boggled it that day. Um, and a lot of it was just because I was so frustrated with the situation and feeling I, I don't agree with what's going on but Congress is not being given this option. Now she says she does not support a troop increase. The fact is we're not winning and everybody's agreed to that. The Iraq study group was a bipartisan commission that basically said here's a way forward and it did not involve an escalation of the troops. Boyda is also the freshman class's Republican liaison, a title her party thought fitting because she used to be a Republican until a few years ago. Boyda says it's extremely important to be able to reach across the aisle to get things done. The solutions are not easy and they're difficult, which comes back to they have to be bipartisan. And that's the only thing that I'm sure of. Laura Berger, 49 News.